Is, is Good Eats over? Good Eats, Good Eats on television. I'm not going to make any more Good Eats for television. Um, Good Eats, the entire library has been taken and put on, on Cooking Channel. I am working on a new Very Good Eats-like um, program, but it's going to be for web only. It's going to be digital only. So right now, the only thing that I'm really working on for broadcast television um, is the uh, the 10th uh, season of Food Network Star for Food Network and also Cutthroat Kitchen, uh, which has just been uh, greenlit for a fourth and a fifth season. So we're, we're moving Back out to L.A. pretty soon to, uh, to shoot another 26 episodes, I think. Rapid fire questions with Alton Brown here at the Performing Arts Center. Favorite hot dog? Jack's Cosmic. Uh, the uh, the blue cheese slaw dog. It's my favorite on earth, and I've, I featured it on on uh, a documentary I did called Feasting on Asphalt. My family uh, we very often um, have vacations on Isle of Palms, and so I'm I'm I've actually flown here from Atlanta just to go have a hot dog. I love it too. Uh, you mentioned feasting on asphalt. This is going to be rapid fire, but I got to ask: Is there that of all the shows? I think that's my favorite. I mean, it's funny you mentioned that. That show is going to be moving um, to another uh, Scripps Howard network, where Scripps Howard owns a bunch of networks, including Food Network, and they own Great American Country. And that se- uh, series is going to move to Great American Country, and I'm going to make new ones. Uh, that's just happened in this past week, so I'm going to be uh, back on the motorcycle, uh, back on the road for that show. Any country music tie-ins? I got to ask a country station. Well, you know what? Yeah, I'm hoping. I'm hoping so because, I mean, I'll be really honest. As a musician, you know, we, we play a lot of, of songs uh, during during the show. Um, I'm actually a, a pretty big fan of, of country music, and I'm, I'm hoping to be able to l- kind of lace some of that into the storytelling. I'm, I'm looking to get a, a, a really a pretty decent country star to come on the road with me. I'm not going to say who I'm in talks with, but I am currently in talks with someone of note. That's all I'm going to say. Cannot wait. That wasn't really rapid fire. That wasn't. I know. I, I couldn't. <laughs> I, I, but you actually, yeah, I had another question for the... All right, well, here, we'll, we should knock it out. Now I will get the rapid-fire questions. I tried to do this Better. earlier. How do you like your steak? Medium rare. Favorite cheese? Um, purple haze. Um, it's, a, it's a California thing. It's a goat cheese. Best barbecue in the world? <laughs> uh, North Carolina. Eastern Carolina. Interesting. And uh, I guess my last question is, what would be your favorite country song? heading to GAC with a new series. All right, it's going to have to be Johnny Cash. Um, just cause. Um, because, you know, if, if I was going to have, a, if, I, if I died today and anybody from history could come back and play at my funeral, it would be Johnny Cash. Um, I'm going Ring of Fire. Ring of Fire. And, you know, that could kind of tie into the food world as well. Absolutely, because if you eat too much Mexican food, you, you end up in a burden ring of fire. I think there was an ad campaign around that at some point. Was there? For oh, Preparation H or really? sub, one of those, yes. Oh, dad nabbit. I thought it was being original. Chatting Shoot. with Alton Brown. And, um, okay, so I've heard, like, a game show host is, like, the best job in the world. I've waited to be a game show host for a really long time. I, I, I helped... Uh, Food Network devised the show Cutthroat Kitchen because I wanted to actually host a game show. Not a competition show or a reality show, a game show. Meaning that people that are in it must play a game to win because I think the game show format is, is one of the finest formats that there ever was. And I've always wanted to host a game show. So I'm super happy with that show because it's, it's clever and it's smart and it's kind of... Uh, you know, I termed, I coined the term evilicious uh, be, because it, it allows people to really do horrible things to one another. But above all, Cutthroat Kitchen is about watching people cook their way out of uh, terrible trouble. And it's on, uh, have you completed the whole season? Well, we've done three seasons. Actually, season two is just now wrapping up. We shot season three in December. That's going to be premiering soon. And then season four and five are, are coming down the pike. So we're having a lot of fun with it. Is that in New York or L.A.? We shoot that in L.A., in Burbank, fabulous Burbank. You know the best thing about Burbank? Free parking, no parking meters in Burbank. You find a spot, you park. It's fantastic. So, yeah, any, any thoughts to try and bring some of these shows to the south? Atlanta is well, your home, my, right? You know, uh, Good Eats shot for 14 years in Atlanta, and I just moved my studio. Uh, we sold our studio in Atlanta and, and built one up in Marietta, Georgia, where I live, new studio, uh, where we're going to be shooting all of our new digital um, stuff. So i um, still shooting a lot and shooting a lot in the south. And if I do another Feasting on Asphalt, which I'm probably going to be doing, um, I'll be doing that in the south too. I'm a southern boy, and the more I can shoot here, the happier I am. 
All right, and, and we'll, we'll look forward to seeing who this country star is that could be joining. I'm not gonna say, I'm not, not currently gonna say, you know, but she's expressed real interest in writing bitch, so what can I say? <laughs> okay, so we gotta, at least we know. Uh, For motorcycle people, you'll know exactly what that means. For I, everybody else, sorry, yes. sorry, it's, it's a technical term.